Let's compare some baffles and chambers real quick. Here's an original double ring, seven star. Check out that baffle. It's quite a bit at the tip. Pretty extreme baffle. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, check that out. Quite an, uh, quite an awesome baffle. Large chamber. This is a five, but it's refaced. Check out that baffle. Yeah. That's a pretty amazing baffle. And yes, it's shinier, but it's also more pronounced. How about the chamber? Same kind of chamber. This is a no USA 6. The baffle, I think, is actually a little higher and it it's a little more gradual but overall I think that's a little higher and the chamber I think is a bit smaller here's a five star no USA refaced beautifully still higher but there's just more stuff going on exactly the same chamber but Check out that baffle. When you have a refacer that really knows what they're doing with baffles, you, you find something great. A lot of times you reface a mouthpiece and the baffle is actually less because the refacer might not know. And this is a transitional, I think, early Babbitt 8 original. And yeah, that's very high. And that's a semi starting to get into step territory. Look how there and where it's all scratched up. It's much higher than the double ring. And I think a smaller chamber compared with the double ring. That's much lower in there. I love how much air I can use with this double ring. But yeah, you get an auto link with a great baffle, you have something to work with at the very least, at the very least.